Hello everyone. Uh, today's tutorial. Uh, this is actually a new set of tutorials I've started. Uh, actually, I uh, I when I go through teaching <coughs> students, I found that most of the students are basically stuck off in beginning of their career, and this is because of C and C++ programming. C, uh, while well learning C++ or C is very important if you want to make your career in software programming because it's a basic and it's a very useful for understanding the what you say the architecture of the computer hardware and CPUs and everything so this is my uh, uh, I can say a goal to help these students who is very stuck off in their beginning understanding the complex city of C and C++. So what I am going to start today is uh, I am going to start with a simple program of uh, printing the list of prime numbers within a given range. So let us uh, start, uh, let us give it name prime.cpp. Now here um, we will include two library files. One is stdio.h, one is conio.h. stdio.h is related to standard input output, which is uh, actually when you want to print something on the screen or you want to take input. Uh, from the user and conio.h is uh, console based input output it is regarding mm, you want to clear the screen and I will actually use conio.h to clear the screen and halt um, the program output uh, interface program output console for a second using get ch function <coughs> so let's start Mm, here we what we are going to do first we will <coughs> write a function known as is prime is prime will take uh, one input uh, an integer input and find out uh, whether this is a prime number or not so for int see uh, I have not declared uh, integer variable uh, just start the starting of the function but I have declared inside the for loop because I want to bound its scope within the for loop uh, so that it will the uh, variable will not exist uh, after its uh, get out of the for loop so let's uh, just think about prime number what is prime number prime number is actually a number which is only divisible by itself and by one uh, rather you have to rather exclude one and two the number one and two from this they since they are not prime numbers uh, so we are going to start uh, from three and uh, what are you going to do we uh, we are going to from three we are going to t t t attempt dividing this number in <coughs> we are going to attempt dividing this number in till it's half of the number suppose it is ten we will divide until five uh, suppose it is uh, because uh, no number is divisible uh, maximum divis divisor is uh, always half of the number uh, if uh, you want to divide it with some inti get some integer values <coughs> so we will start from 3 and div continue until the half of the number and what is my attempt my attempt is actually <coughs> to find out if any of the of this i number i variable value is divisible um, n is divisible by this i value then it is not prime so if n percent i sorry what do you say huh, if n percent i equal to equal to 0 
so what is in percent i percent is actually modulus if you if you have used uh, vb6 uh, you have uh, or uh, visual basic or basic q basic you have seen there is a mod function which is actually which gives the remainder so if it is uh, suppose n is uh, 7 and i is uh, 4 so what remainder you get you get uh, the remainder 3 so when a number is divisible if n is divisible by a number then it or remainders will always be 0 so if it is 0 obviously it is divisible by i so it is not a prime number so what we will do we will return 0 actually I have taken int integer return type as of integer if it is 0 then it is uh, not a prime number or otherwise it's see uh, well you suppose you may know that for if you are using a for loop or the if statement and if uh, it consists of only one statement then you don't require to give the place so uh, under the for there is if condition under if there is one statement return zero so just uh, to clear the confusion i am just uh, putting the uh, nested uh, putting this basis here so that uh, it's not uh, difficult for you to understand so this is the end of for loop this is the starting of for loop sorry now uh, if uh, any of the condition doesn't satisfy here so what does it mean it does it does mean that um, the n is not divisible by any of the value of i so it have to be a for a prime number so return one now i will write uh, the write the main function where we will call this is prime function mm, so what we are going to do uh, just take a variable int n printf enter number range say number range scanf percentage and percentage so I send uh, I I hope you know this uh, simple things uh, the print f which is taking a script code new line mm, the print will start from a new line use it and learn and if you have any question regarding this video you can do uh, post comment on my video on this video so thank you